That's my first action move in a long time. What time does my wife get in? 1845. Wake me if civilization ends. It's about the White House. It's the first time I don't totally blow it up. What the hell is happening? I just do it bit by bit. <laughs> okay, let's go. Roland really likes to play with icons. And if you look at the content of his films, they're fun event movies, and they take place and unfold over a global scale. Incoming! It's really fun to watch him work in this environment. This was in his destiny. This movie has big ideas that have to do with real world human issues. My daughter's downstairs. Yeah. Move, move! Where are you? Where are you at? I'll come get you. He really focuses on the story. At the same time, nobody shoots mayhem better. Roland gets up every day and makes this work. The size and the scope of this project, it's a monster job. We need a location! When you're working with Roland, you're gonna need a bigger stage. Everything was built, even the exteriors were built. Helicopters, tanks, that can be very challenging because we were shooting the movie indoors on a stage. There are iconic Roland Emmerich moments in the movie. He puts the camera in positions that nobody would ever think of. There's a certain scope to his movies and to visually how he approaches it. But I think what makes it fun to work with him as well is that it's not just about that. That was good. And tough. This movie has all the things I like. It has uh, suspense, story, a lot of good characters, which I was uh, drawn to. John Cale. James, sorry. I'm gonna get you out of here. I think one of the things about Roland that people don't realize how much of an actor's director is. Politicians always love talking about sacrifice. You think I don't know anything about sacrifice doing this job? How many people come to your house and want to kill you? He always has some idea. There's something you didn't think of as an actor that makes this movie even better. I know your story, Emil. I know what this country did to you. We're in this together. It's great to have a person who allows you to bring in your voice and bring in your ideas. My daughter says that I'm her hero, and I gotta earn that. Great, great, great. I love how Roland captures characters. There's people involved. The world is involved. That's why I enjoy working with Roland so often. Roland's really good at giving the audience something to relate to, something to connect to. As an actor, you love that. He's always got your back. He's always going to tell the story. But also, the guy knows how to shoot. Pull up! Pull up! Roland has a very clear vision. He wanted to tell a really cool movie as well as a real precise film. You have got to get the president to safety. This film is really frenetic. There's a lot of energy to what he's doing. Go, 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 go. He wants bullet heads to look like the size of the gun that's being used. I know he likes a certain look to the movie. The framing. Quick cuts, short, fast. Hold your fire! I think that man is friendly! The camera crew have protection on him because he's bringing the camera right into the action. He's able to balance this symphony of elements from the floor effects to the performances to the visual effects. His attention to all of that detail and the way that he's able to bring those elements together, it's pretty amazing. My little girl is counting on me right now and I'm not gonna disappear on her. You can't do this by yourself. When you see him at the monitors, you know, you can always tell if the director loves what he does. We could be hour 12 or 13, and it's like he just got there. He just goes and goes. I think his energy rubs off on people. It's just amazing to be a part of his movie. I wanted to show how you could make action like in a different way. So it appeals a little bit for more people than only the action fans.